Right, so welcome to Gonjor. This is the other suggestion, which I'm doing right after the rune one. So, let's get straight into it. So you'll get these a lot of the time, they're the ruins. See, some these chests can have some pretty good stuff in, but sometimes they will glitch out and not spawn with anything, which can be a little pain. You also get these ruins. These might have a chest in, but you're more likely just to avoid them, which is better. And you also got always a small bit of stone just around. So now this is a fort. This is one of the rarer structures and is really quite interesting. So we go in here, these houses, you'll see a lot around Gondor. This is there. What's a blacksmith? You get two in here, so there's a lot of loot you can get from these chests. But also a lot you can trade with these guys. If playing as Gondor or any faction of that, I would advise you go and trade gold. That seems to be the most useful and most cost effective way. So if you look in here, this is their main fault. It's one of the best places to get a full set of decent armor if you look here. That's a full set here and you get weapons and whatever in these chests. This is one of the cooler places because it's got so much like just interesting stuff all in these. It's usually like cups and stuff in these small chests but you can sometimes get some coins. So if we see what units you can get with this guy. So this guy is okay, but you know, it's, it's just the levy man. Yeah, these guys are some of the best normal soldiers you can get in the game. Yet again, an archer. Gondor knights are pretty good at that as well. Tower guards, these are their unique unit. Really powerful, really strong, quite cheap actually. Banner bearer, always you got the normal banner bearer, don't you? So not a massive range of units, but some solid units out of that. So if you look here, they've got that interesting, not as many as in Rune, but you know, and also farmers. These tower things are interesting by themselves, actually. So here, all of these, I'd assume they have, I like the cups and stuff. If you look here, yeah, get some stuff like that. That's amazing. So if you looked over here, there's this thing. This thing is, they're sort of like mini base. You can hire troops from it, which is weird, but you know, it's not as good as finding one of these because you can't get as much stuff from them. So if you look in here, there's lots of knights, cups again. This is the main chest you're gonna look in if you're gonna do one of these. So we're gonna run to the top where he should be, or here. But uh, yeah, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. However, if you look here, the beacon. You can, in fact, right, so if it didn't have the flag in, you can light these beacons and you'll get the achievement the beacons are lit. So, there should be the massive city lighting like in room. But I've been flying around for about an hour and I couldn't find one. So I'm sorry for that, but basically you should imagine that in the rune city. That's pretty much what it is. So if we look at the geography of it, so if we look here, it's quite a long way. It'll take you maybe an hour and a half. But the problem with going this way compared to going this way is that this way you get past Rivendell, which you can get some proper good gear if you're going to go to all of these places. However, if you're going to Gondor, you have to go all along here, which is some of the most boring terrain in the whole game. So again, you're going to be here for like an hour running through this terrain, it's not fun. So if you go along here, this will be done and you'll find some houses, I will do a faction guide for them too. Then you've got the long stretch of Rohan, you're going to be here for some time. Then in Gondor in itself, it's massive, it doesn't seem that big, but you're going to be riding across here for maybe an hour and a half. Then this bit is still Gondor actually, just sub factions so if you have gondor alignment you'll still be able to use it in this place they'll have different troops here and different troops here so this is a shorter one but that's because i couldn't find this city so hope you enjoyed this one if you have any suggestions for what faction you want to do next that would be great 
or if you've got a video you want to see, I'll still do that. So thanks for watching.